Hi, it's Vicky here with my latest art journal layout. Today I'm working on my moleskin sketchbook and first of all I'm going to use this stencil that has nice uh, random images which uh, will make a great background. I am using my spatula to apply my paste and this is grunge paste. It's just like a modeling paste and what I love about this paste, it's a product by Paper Archie, is that it uh, dries nice and hard and uh, it's going to create a nice texture for my background. And you can see here the final result once the paste is dry. So now I'm going to apply three different colors of my Paper Archie chalk paints. Now I decided to go with oranges and um, yellows. And uh, as you can see I'm applying uh, the paint directly on my page. I haven't uh, pre gessoed anything. This uh, chalk paint has enough tooth so you don't really need to prepare your pages. I am applying everything with my paintbrush and uh, I'm not uh, making an effort to apply it smoothly or to cover up the whole area. After all, I am going to blend uh, colors directly on my page, one after the other. Notice how I started with the lighter one, I am moving to the middle and then at the end I'm going to introduce the darker color. This time with the middle color I am trying to cover up uh, the areas that I haven't touched before and uh, you will see that at one point I am going to use my fingers to make it blend even better. Also all three colors that I have picked to use on this page are uh, transparent which means that they are not going to cover up completely what's underneath so it makes uh, blending even easier. Now I am going to move on to the darker color. I am going to apply just a little bit of uh, this color on my pages. I don't want to make it uh, too dark. And uh, I really love the variation of color that I can see as it is now because this uh, turns my page uh, looking more uh, interesting and it's not that flat. Now I also notice how I am going over the embossed areas which is uh, making uh, that design more visible. To make the embossed areas even more visible, I have used this Paper Archie chalk paint which is copper and it's metallic and I am going over the embossed areas with my finger with just a touch of uh, that paint. I'm not overloading my finger, I'm just dabbing off all the excess. So now my background is looking more dimensional and uh, all those raised areas have a nice shine on them. This is a new script stamp by Penny Black and I am going to use that to add uh, even more interest on the background. I am going to stamp areas of uh, that uh, text stamp by using archival link. Notice how I am not um, trying to cover up the whole page and also I don't uh, like to have square blocks of that text. So I prefer to stamp everything without a stamping block but rather making uh, curves with my fingers so that I get a nice and organic look. Totally random. Now, uh, I think that uh, if you are into mixed media and art journaling, having uh, such a stamp with text is really great because it's so versatile and you can pretty much use it on any layout that uh, you are making. And now that I am happy with my background, I'm going to use this stamp. This is again by Penny Black and uh, I am going to stamp it with uh, black archival link on a piece of craft cardstock. I'm going to stamp it twice because I am planning to uh, color the dress in a different way than the rest of the girl. So I'm going to paper piece it later on. To add some texture on uh, the dress, I am going to use again my grunge paste and I am uh, using this stencil to add uh, a few dots at the bottom of her dress. This is going to add uh, some dimension when uh, this is dry and I will go ahead and uh, add the color. 
Now I'm going to combine two different paper RJ colors for her dress and I'm going to do the blending directly on the paper. Uh, you can see the names of the colors that I have used on your screen right now. What I love about this stamp is that you have endless possibilities to work with that dress. So you can uh, really paper piece it or color it with your uh, favorite um, mediums or even uh, draw and doodle your own designs for her dress. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out just the dress, so it's not uh, very important if you go outside the lines. Now I decided to stamp uh, my girl again, for, but uh, this time I'm using Memento Toxido Black Ink and that's because I decided to color the face and her hair with my alcohol markers. Now this is just some basic coloring, I'm just applying the color on her flesh and uh, I'm not going to do any type of shading as I will do the whole shading once the girl is uh, stuck on my layout. I'm however going to add some blush on her uh, cheeks and um, as always just to remind you that you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. I have also used uh, three different colors of brown markers to color her hair and now I'm using my scissors to cut her out. I'm going to paper piece the dress on top of uh, the colored uh, girl. To do so I'm using uh, my brush with um, gel medium, that's matte gel medium. I am applying it to both the dress and um, the girl. I always find that uh, wet on wet is uh, better when you are handling uh, such a thick uh, cardstock. And this is when I decided to give her wings. I am going to use this butterfly from a new stamp set by Penny Black again. And uh, as you can see I am reusing uh, some old packaging. I am going to cut out a piece of acetate and I am going to stamp this butterfly by using my Stazon ink. Remember you need to use Stazon ink otherwise it's going to smear and smudge if you stamp uh, anything on an acetate. So I am going to stamp and then I am going to use my scissors to cut out the wings. Also remember to clean up your stamps if you are using Stazon ink and uh, for that you would need your Stazon cleaner which is going to make your stamp uh, nice and clean. With a very thin black marker I am redrawing the shape of her uh, mouth. I just want uh, to give a slight uh, smile on her because I don't like to use uh, sad faces on my arsenal and I think that she had kind of a sad face. So I am also adding eyelashes on her and now I'm ready to stick the wings. I'm going to use my scissors, I'm going to cut them apart. I'm going to place one of the wings and secure it temporarily at the back with a piece of scotch tape and for the other wing I want it to be between the body and the hair. So I'm using a craft knife to create a slit where I'm going to place the wing and I'm going to again secure it temporarily with scotch tape at the back. So I'm happy with how my girl is looking at the moment and uh, now I'm going to decide where I'm going to place her on my background. Now just because this is an acetate wing and I want to close the book without uh, folding it, I decided to place her uh, towards the one side, although one of the wings is uh, going outside of uh, the book. Now if that bothers you, you can use smaller wings or you can use your scissors to cut them out. I don't uh, I mind if I have things sticking out of my book, so I'm just uh, going to leave that wing as it is. I'm using uh, my gel medium to stick everything down and I haven't used gel medium behind the wings. 
As I am sticking her down, I'm making sure that I cover up her body and the face, the whole girl, with gel medium and that's because I am planning to do my shading with big brush markers. And again I'm going to do the same technique that I did for the embossed background uh, with gesso. I am just touching a little bit with my finger and I'm going over the textured area. This is going to grab the gesso and it's going to highlight it and make it look even more dimensional. And since I had all that gesso on uh, uh, the side, I have diluted with water and now with a thin brush I am uh, creating some splashes. I am uh, making sure that I protect the face of the girl, but I am going to add splashes on her uh, dress as well. I am going to use this uh, floral stamp, that's by Penny Black, with my black archival link and I am going to stamp some of those uh, branches coming from the top of the page just to add some more interest on my layout. For those branches I did some basic coloring, so all the leaves are green and uh, the flowers are white. I'm not trying to be very precise, although I'm using a thin brush, I really don't mind if I go over the lines, because at the end I'm going to use a thin brush marker and draw the lines again. And just because I didn't want to have uh, totally white flowers, I'm adding uh, just a touch of uh, blue with my blue big brush marker and I'm smudging it towards the edge of uh, the flower. I'm also going to add my own enamel dots. I'm using um, Nouveau Crystal Drops and that's the color of apple green. And this is going to add a whimsical touch on my page. And for the center of the flowers I'm again going to use my Nouveau Crystal Drops but uh, this time I am going to use the Silver Moon Dust which does actually have some glitter on it. And now it's time for my white gel pen. I'm just going to add uh, a highlight on the leaves. And you already know that I can go on and on with uh, finishing touches, so I'm using some glaze or some glossy accents on her eyes. And now it's time to add the quote for my page. Now I decided to combine two different methods to add the quote. So I have um, printed out a part of it from my computer. So here are the um, cutouts which I'm going to stick down by using uh, my matte medium. And uh, for the last uh, word I'm going to use my clear alphabet uh, stamps. Which I'm going to stamp with my black archival ink. And here is the final touch, just with my white gel pen I'm adding a touch of highlight on all the black letters. 
And that was the page for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of today's project. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more art journal videos that I created a while back. You can also find a link to my art journal playlist in the middle of the screen. Thank you all for watching!